When it comes to superheroes, it seems Hollywood likes to cycle through the same actors. With Michael B. Jordan now on board for the solo Black Panther film, the Human Torch role is more like an entrance to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Hell, I mean, look how Chris Evans turned out. Dude just got promoted to Captain. That's not really a bad thing though. Marvel knew what they were doing. Cause Marvel always knows what they're doing. Though I'm not sure if Jordan is gonna have that A-list character of a role. I mean he could be possibly playing a role as small as a Wakandan soldier or a servant or something. Man Fox is really struggling with this whole Fantastic Four thing. I'm not bashing the actors or even the director for the most recent Fantastic Four. In fact I'm sorry the film got such bad reception. I found it decent. I didn't think it was that bad as people thought it was. And looking ahead, it would seem that Fox would most likely give the rights back to Marvel. Even though I didn't hate the 2015 reboot, I'd love to see Marvel get the rights back to their first family. More importantly, I would like to know who'd be playing the iconic team. Just a reminder that this video is kind of based off of predictions, not factual evidence. I have nothing to back up my statements as most of the things I'm about to say is opinion based. My first choice for Johnny Storm would probably be Sam Claflin. Man, I really hate to butcher these names, but I know other names have been thrown around such as Max Theorot or Zac Efron, but I really see Claflin fitting the role more. Plus, I don't think Efron would be convincing in the role as Johnny Storm personally. It's not that I don't like the guy. It's just that whenever I see this, uh, I see this. Everybody's always talking at me. Everybody's trying to get in my head. I'm not gonna stop that. But seriously, Claflin, I feel, would crush the part. He shows that he can play a very charismatic, charming character and illustrates the great talent he has in his acting abilities. This choice is sort of ironic because the guy played Finnick in Hunger Games, who usually wielded a trident. The irony is that the trident means water and human torch, well, you know, means flame on. I bet to see him portray an arrogant wise ass on screen. Keep in mind, I haven't seen him in everything that he's been in. And the human torch could probably be that role. And yes, I believe he can do it. Eliza Coop is the top pick for me for The Invisible Woman. Coop is more widely known for her television appearances in shows including Happy Endings and Scrubs. Though television actors and actresses are considered quote-unquote not as top quality, she has talent. She has it, baby. She's also relatively older than Sam Claflin, which fits the comic book counterparts where Sue is actually older than Johnny. Not that that matters or justifies my choice, because, you know... They could always lie about any other actress and just say anyone is older than someone else. Nevertheless, her being in her mid-30s makes it more believable that she's a scientist as opposed to a younger actress. I'm not saying that she's old, but she gives off that feeling of a more experienced kind of gal. Now these next two choices for Ben Grimm and Reed Richards was harder for me to decide, so yeah, there's that. I know some people may disagree with me on this, but I think Tom Hardy would make a great Ben Grimm. If some of you don't know already, Hardy is an amazing actor who you've most likely seen on screen as Bane from The Dark Knight Rises and as Max in Mad Max. It may be weird seeing the former DC star on a Marvel property, but to be honest, comparing these two pictures side by side, I would have never guessed that these two were the same people. And he fits the build and physique that I always pictured Ben Grimm as. Don't get me wrong, I think Jamie Bell from the newest reboot of the Fantastic Four did a good job and I don't think the film flopped because of him. But I think that he was sort of miscast. For casting someone who would play the thing, I always imagined someone who had a big body structure. Still not saying Bell isn't buff. I mean, look at this, it's, it's like a grapefruit, man. But seriously, Michael Chiklis from the 2004 series fit better as he had a bigger physique. If you saw The Dark Knight Rises, then you know this guy can get huge if he isn't already. For Reed Richards, this was the toughest choice among everyone else. I would pick John Hamm as the one to portray Mr. Fantastic. He possesses phenomenal acting chops and has won a Primetime Emmy Award for Best Leading Actor in Mad Men, illustrating he can easily play a leader-type role like Richards. But here's the one grab that lessens his chances of him getting cast. The man is 45. With Robert Downey Jr. portraying Tony Stark for the first time at age 43, Hamm would be slightly older than that. The thing with Marvel is that they sign people on for multi-picture deals, which isn't a bad thing since it's only for the good of the future movies. But this really decreases Ham's chances of getting the role as Reed Richards. His age would fit well with Sue as they are only 10 years apart, with the original age gap in the comics being 6 years. 4 years isn't much, right? Looking at my choices right now, the selections I've made are kind of on the older side, as opposed to a younger cast they can develop for years to come. But for the Fantastic Four, I think that an older cast is necessary. Sue Storm and Reed Richards are scientists. They practically need to breathe experience and intellect. With their appearance, they can show rather than tell the audience that, hey, uh, I'm a scientist. Makes this whole thing more believable. Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts on the cast of the MCU's Fantastic Four. If they ever got them back. If you want to see my last video, which was my movie review for Captain America Civil War, click the link right here. And if you really like this video, then go check out my other content with stuff ranging from trailer analyses to a versus series.